Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we are going to compare two functions mathematically. And I know these are lines that we've been working with quadratics. But here we are in our task sheet that we've been working on. And we've got the point where we've improved our equations. And we have two, we're going to justify the action of our models, the three steps. We have our first function and our improved function. Now yours are quadratics, parabolas. I've chosen lines doesn't really matter that it's the same process to compare them mathematically. If I eyeball it, the blue one, is I'm going to say, is the original. I'm going to say the blue is the original. And the red is going to be what I call the improved function. And as you just eyeball it, we want to see which function is better. And if I look at it just, just by looking at it, I can see the blue one is further away from most of the points than the red one. And I can look at that and see, but that's not very mathematical. So what this video is about is I'm going to show mathematically how I can compare these two functions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the blue one. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I can see that the blue one is far away from all these points. I'm going to measure up all these distances. I'm going to measure that distance, <clears throat> and that distance, and that distance, and that distance. So for a given x value, or t value, I can find the difference in the y's. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my spreadsheet. And I know this is my original data set. And I've got my line of best fit. This is my original one. And I want to find the value, the height, that the line predicts. So to do that, I'm going to go equal negative 1.32, which is, if you see carefully, it's the slope here. And I'm going to go times my time, which is A2, and then plus the 36.05. This is the equation of my line of best fit. I did that computation earlier. You'll have a quadratic model that you used here. I hit enter. The model says it should be 34.73, and I'm going to drag it down. So these values here, which we can put in blue, so we keep things all color coordinated, represent all the points on the line. So that's when x is this value, it's all the points that are on this line specifically here. What I want to do is I want to find the distance between the line and the actual point. And to do that, I'm going to insert a column to the left of here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the difference. I'm going to find the difference from uh, the blue line is up top minus the points in the bottom. So the blue line, I'm going to do h minus the height. And I'm going to do this in blue. So this is my blue. Keep it in blue. Now, to do that, I'm going to go, this is going to be the height minus the actual value of the height. So the estimate minus the actual. And when I drag it down, it computes them all. So I can see, I go 33.41 minus 33 is 0.41 and so on. So these are all the distances that I am from the line. Now, I want this distance to be pretty small, but I got a problem here. I have some negative distances. And the negatives, what that's going to do to it is it's going to. I need to make them positive so that it's a distance. One of the tricks that I can do to make it positive is I can come along. I'm going to insert another line here, column to the right. Let's insert another column to the right. What I can do is I can take this 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 difference between the two, I'm going to do the difference to the power of 2. I'm going to square it, and that will make... No, let's do the absolute distance. Absolute distance. Difference. Okay, so I'm going to do the absolute difference. I'm going to make all these values positive. So I'm going to go equal ABS, absolute value of a number, of this value here. D2. Absolute value means make it positive. So this, drag it down, 
and all these values became positive. And now I want to add them up. I click on the sum button, which is here. Add the sum of this whole column. And I have 10.42. Now that's the absolute difference. So if I take all these distances and assume, make them all positive, I add them up, I can see how far away I am from the line. And in total, I'm 10.42 of all those points. I can do the same computation with the red line here. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go equal negative 1.44 times, well, the t is my time, plus 35.89. Enter. And so this one I want it to be red though. Now in this height, I'm going to drag this all the way down. And I get all these values. So now let's talk about this 34.5. What that value there means is if I look at my line, if I look at my line when t is 1, I get this point here. That's the 30, that's the point it's talking about. I'm going to be getting all these points that are on the red line here that are in comparison to the actual dots. And they're pretty close as you can see from that first one, 34.45 versus 34.5. They're almost exactly the same on top of each other. I can't even differentiate between the two points. Again, I'm going to do the difference between uh, the red height minus the real height. When I do that difference, I go equals the red height minus the real height, which is this value, and I get these values here. Again, you can see that I have positives and negatives. I want all those values to be positives. So I'm going to do the absolute differences, which is equal to ABS absolute value of these. Again, we'll make them all red. And then if I drag it down, I will get all positive values. And if I then come and sum them up, all these values here, I get 5.92 versus 10.42. It's mathematically all the distances are smaller for the red line than they are for the blue line. This technique will work for any kind of a model. You want to compare the true values from the data versus the values from your model. This is one way of doing it. There's other ways we can do it, or as opposed to absolute difference, we can take the square of the value. That makes it positive. Um, and all these techniques are how we can compare mathematically two functions compared to the data set. So looking at our task sheet, we are now ready to talk about doing